Hello everyone, in the last session we had discussed the play The Glass Menagerie written by Tennessee Williams. In today's session we will look into the characters of the play. The play is set in St. Louis in the year 1937. It revolves around the memories of the narrator of the play who is called Tom Wingfield. He is one of the characters in the play as well. He works in a shoe warehouse but is an aspiring poet who works hard to support his mother Amanda and his sister Laura. Mr. Wingfield, Tom and Laura's father ran off many years ago and no one has heard of him except for one postcard that he had sent. Amanda, who is the mother of Tom and Laura, belongs to a genteel southern family. She frequently tells her children tales of her idyllic youth when she had many suitors who pursued her. Her daughter Laura wears a brace on her leg and is very ashamed of her condition Due to this reason, she does not attract men who can be her suitors. This condition of Laura is a constant worry for her mother. Amanda enrolls Laura into a business college in the hope that her daughter would become self-sufficient and make money for the family. Amanda who is desperate to get Laura married, asks Tom to keep an eye for potential suitors for Laura at his workplace. Tom finally selects Jim O'Connor, a friend, and invites him to dinner. Amanda gets excited and inquires about Jim, and she is happy to note that Jim is a very career-oriented man. She prepares a very elaborate dinner for Jim and asks Laura to wear a new beautiful dress. Coincidentally, Jim is the same person on whom Laura had a crush when she was in high school. All these characters are realistically depicted in the play. Amanda Wingfield. She is Laura and Tom's mother. She is a proud, vivacious woman who clings to the memories of a vanished past. She is admirable, charming, pitiable and laughable. She is a faded southern belle who has received a traditional upbringing. But she has suffered a reversal of economic and social fortune at some point in her life. She has a hard time coming to terms with the new status in society which disregards the social distinctions that she was taught to value. Her relationship with her husband and her family is turbulent. Also, she staunchly defends the values of her past. Amanda is the play's most extrovert and theatrical character. Amanda constantly nags Tom and refuses to accept and understand Laura for who she really is. On the other hand, Amanda is willing to make a sacrifice for her loved ones that is in many ways unparalleled in the play. Without voicing any complaints, she takes up the job of selling magazine subscriptions for improving their financial condition. This in turn will improve Laura's marriage prospects. Her flaws are centrally responsible for the tragedy, comedy and theatrical flair of her character. Like her children, Amanda too withdraws from reality 
into fantasy. Unlike them, she is convinced that she is not doing so and is constantly making efforts to engage with people and the world outside her family. Laura Wingfield She is Amanda's daughter and Tom's older sister. Laura has a crippled leg and she has to wear a brace. Therefore, she walks with a limp. She is 23 years old and extremely shy. Due to this, she has withdrawn from the outside world and devotes herself to listening to old records and treasures her collection of glass figurines. Physically and emotionally crippled Laura is the only character in the play who never does anything to hurt anyone else. She also has the fewest lines in the play. This contributes to her aura of selflessness. Yet, she is the one character around which the plot revolves and the most prominent symbols, blue roses, the glass unicorn and the entire glass menagerie represent her. Laura is rare and peculiar as a blue rose or a unicorn and she is as delicate as a glass figurine in her collection. Amanda assumes that she is like a piece of transparent glass which is colorless until light shines upon it and Laura can take on whatever color the light represented by the people wish. Thus, Amanda emphasizes the glamour of her own youth and hopes of recreating that youth through Laura. Tom and Jim both see Laura as an exotic creature who is foreign to the rest of the world. Yet, Laura's crush on the high school hero Jim is a rather ordinary schoolgirl sentiment. We also see Laura walking the streets in the cold to avoid going to typing class. Through actions like these, she displays a will of her own that defies others' perception of her. Tom Wingfield He is Amanda's son and Laura's younger brother. He is an aspiring poet and works at a shoe warehouse to support the family. He is frustrated with the daily routine of his job and escapes from it through movies, literature and alcohol. Tom plays a double role in The Glass Menagerie. He is a character who recollects and documents the play and also a character who acts within those recollections. Tom sometimes addresses the audience directly. He provides a more detached explanation and assessment of what is happening on stage. At the same time, he demonstrates real and sometimes juvenile emotions as a character in the play's action. This duality can frustrate our understanding of Tom because it is hard to decide whether he is a character whose assessments should be trusted or a person who allows his emotions to affect his judgment. The Glass Menagerie is partly autobiographical. Tom therefore represents the playwright himself. Williams who was named Thomas and he, like Tom, spent part of his youth in St. Louis with an unstable mother and sister and a father who was absent most of the time. Tom is full of contradictions. The audience knows that he reads D. H. Lawrence and follows political developments in Europe. but they are not able to discern the content of his intellectual life. All they learn is 
what he thinks about his mother, his sister and his warehouse job and that he wishes to escape from all of them. Tom's attitude towards Amanda and Laura is quite puzzling. Even though the audience sees that he cares for them, he is frequently indifferent to and even cruel towards them. His speech at the end of the play demonstrates his strong feelings for Laura, but he cruelly deserts her and Amanda. He does not behave in a kind or loving manner towards Laura, not even when he knocks down her glass menagerie. Jim O'Connor He is an old acquaintance of Tom's and Laura's. Jim was a popular athlete in high school, but is now a shipping clerk at the shoe warehouse in which Tom works. This is in contrast to what he was in high school. Back then, he was a popular guy who participated actively in school activities. People thought that he would do wonders in life, but he lands up doing an ordinary job in the shoe warehouse. He is unwaveringly devoted to goals of professional achievement and ideals of personal success. He is kind to Laura and tries to raise her self-esteem, but is not romantically attracted to her as he is engaged to another girl. Mr. Wingfield He is Amanda's husband and Laura and Tom's father. Mr. Wingfield was a handsome man who worked for a telephone company. He abandons his family years before the action of the play and he never appears on stage. His picture, however, is prominently displayed in the Wingfield's living room. He comes across as an escapist who is incapable of taking the responsibility of his family. Tom has his traits as he too abandons the family in the end. Escape from Reality In the play The Glass Menagerie, the characters have difficulty in accepting and relating to reality. Each member of the Wingfield family withdraws into a private world of their own creation where he or she finds comfort and meaning. Laura lives in a private world which is dominated by glass animals. These animals are as delicate as Laura's inner life. She is afraid to face the world because of her crippled leg. She feels she will not be accepted for this physical disability of hers. Tom, on the other hand, is capable of functioning in the real world and facing the reality of his life. Yet, he prefers to retreat into the fantasies provided by literature and movies. He also likes to drink to forget his responsibilities towards his mother and sister. Amanda too escapes from reality and clings to the memories of the past when she was a popular girl who had many suitors. She does not consciously accept that Laura is peculiar and Tom is not very successful at his work. Her retreat into illusion is more pathetic than her children's because it is not an imaginative construction but a distortion of reality. Even Jim is not very happy with his present job. It is an illusion till he attains his objective and wishes to go into public speaking and the television and radio industries. Unable to escape from responsibilities. At the beginning of scene 4, Tom narrated to Laura an account of a magic show he had seen. The magician in the show managed to escape from a nailed up coffin. 
Tom's life with his family and his work at the warehouse can be equated to a coffin which is cramped, suffocating and morbid. It is a responsibility to which he is unfairly confined. The idea that he can escape is represented by his missing father and the fire escape outside the apartment. In the end, he does choose to free himself from the confinement of his life. Tom is locked into his life by his loyalty to and possibly even love for Laura and Amanda. Escape from his family means the suppression and denial of these emotions. It means doing great harm to his mother and sister. Leaving home is not a true escape for Tom. As far as he might wander from home, something still pursues him. Tom's escape leads him not to freedom but to the life of a fugitive. The power of memory. According to Tom, the glass menagerie is a memory play. Its content is shaped and inspired by memory. The play's lack of realism, its high drama, its overblown and perfect symbolism and its frequent use of music are all due to its origins in memory. A play that is inspired from memory is a product of real experience. The writer can narrate his or her true story in unlimited layers of melodrama. Unlike metaphor, this aids in keeping the characters still confident of its substance and reality. Tom and Tennessee Williams take full advantage of this privilege. As we see, Tom is not the only character haunted by his memories. Amanda too lives in the past in constant pursuit of her bygone youth and old stories from her childhood. These stories are as important to her as the glass animals are to Laura. For these characters, memory is a force that prevents them from finding happiness in either the present or the offerings of the future. Desertion or Abandonment The glass menagerie is structured around a series of abandonments. Tom's father Mr. Wingfield's desertion of his family shapes their life situation. Jim's desertion of Laura is the pivot of the play's dramatic action. Each and every act of desertion proves devastating for those left behind. Each character is strongly associated with the technological progress and the achievements of the modern world. Mr. Wingfield, Tom's father, who works for the telephone company, leaves his family because he fell in love with the long distances that the telephone brings into people's lives. Jim is also looking for a future in radio and television and it is possible that he would not get himself tied to the static world of Laura. Tom departs in pursuit of adventure. He is influenced by the movies he sees every night. Only Amanda and Laura who live in their imaginary dream world will never abandon anyone. Yet, in turn, they are abandoned in the end by Tom himself. The screen. One of the play's most unique features is the use of a screen on stage. Words and images relevant to the action are projected on it. What appears on the screen generally emphasizes themes or symbols that are established 
by the action of the play. Directors who have staged the play have been unsure of its effectiveness and virtually all have chosen to eliminate it from the performance. The screen is however an interesting epitome of Tennessee Williams's expressionist theatrical style. The use of music. Music in the glass menagerie emphasizes the themes and enhances the drama. Sometimes the music comes from outside the play, not from within it and though the audience can hear it, the characters cannot. For example, a musical piece titled The Glass Menagerie written specifically for the play by the composer Paul Bowles plays only when Laura's character or her glass collection comes to the forefront of the action. Music often provides commentary on what is going on in the play. For example, the Paradise Dance Hall plays a piece titled The World is Waiting for the Sunrise while Tom is talking about the approach of World War II. Laura's Glass Figurines or the Menagerie The glass menagerie or collection of glass animals is the play's central symbol. Laura's collection of glass animals represents her personality. Like the figurines, Laura is delicate. Glass is transparent, but when light shines on it, it refracts a rainbow of colors. Similarly, Laura, though quiet around strangers, gets comfortable with them once she knows them better. She can be a delight and she opens up like a rainbow. The menagerie also represents the imaginative world in which Laura lives, a world that is colorful and enticing, but it is based on fragile illusions. The Delicate Glass Unicorn Among the glass collection that Laura has, the unicorn is her favorite figure. It represents her uniqueness and her peculiar nature. Jim points out unicorns are extinct in modern times and they are lonesome creatures as a result of being different from other horses. Similarly, Laura too is different and unusual. She is lonely and cannot adapt to the world around her. She is painfully aware of her handicap and this makes her lead a secluded life. Jim makes her feel comfortable and this makes Laura feel normal around him. When Jim dances with her and kisses her impulsively, he stumbles and the unicorn's horn breaks off. It becomes just another horse. When he tells her that he is engaged, Laura is hurt. She gives Jim the unicorn as a souvenir because without its horn, the unicorn is more suitable for him than for her. The broken unicorn represents all that he has taken from her and destroyed in her. The name Blue Roses Just like the glass unicorn, Blue Roses is Jim's high school nickname for Laura. It symbolizes Laura's unusualness. The name is also linked with Laura's attraction to Jim and the joy that his kind treatment brings her. Furthermore, it reflects on Tennessee Williams' sister Rose on whom the character of Laura is based. The Fire Escape The fire escape leads out of the Wingfield's apartment with a landing. For Tom, it's an escape from the fires of frustration and dysfunction that are present in the Wingfield household. Laura slips out of the fire escape in scene 4, showing her inability to escape from her situation completely. 
Tom on the other hand frequently steps out onto the landing through the fire escape to smoke hoping that he would eventually get away from his responsibilities. With this we come to the conclusion of the present session. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you.